Yep. So once you fill out the application, we get you approved for orientation or and you feel we're going to be a good fit for you as well, then we would bring you to orientation here. We do it two different ways. We either do a rental car or bus, whichever works for you. Um, if you do the rental car, we'll cover the car, your first tank of gas, gas and tolls along the way you would cover, but save your receipts. We collect those on the first day to get you reimbursed. And then okay. once you arrive, yep. we'll take care of your room. You have your own room. You don't have to share okay. with anyone. And then you'll have breakfast there at the hotel. And then we give vouchers for lunch and dinner while you're in orientation. So we take care of okay. your Okay, lunch and orientation. dinner. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Some places I talked to so far, they, they was only offering lunch and not dinner. But you guys offering lunch and dinner. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, so okay. then orientation so, is normally Monday through Wednesday. We try our best to get you back on the road by Thursday. Um, you know, once you complete orientation, we pay $600 in orientation pay. All you have to do is stay a minute, just take your time. The clock is ticking, so stay. All you have to do is stay. What's going on, everybody? Lockout Men back again with another video for that ass. Welcome back to the Lockout Men podcast show. Thank you very much for being here. I am your humble host, Lockout Men. And in this episode, we're coming back, back at you with another MTC edition. Make the call. Yes, sir. And in this episode, I'm not sure who I'm going to call, but before we get into all of that, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell and that all button and support the cause. If you guys have any suggestions that you want me to want a company to be called, let me know. You can let me know by in the comments below, or you can let me know on the Gmail, lockoutmanpodcast at gmail.com. Or you can hit me up in Instagram, which will probably be the easiest way at Lockout Men. Let's get into this. Uh, let's get into this episode, y'all. Who are we going to call today? There it is, Schuster. Yes, sir, uh, Schuster. Uh, it's not even Schuster Trucking, Schuster Company, Schuster LLC. It's just plain Schuster. That's what's up. Let's see what Schuster. Let's see what Schuster has to offer for us. Let's go to the bit board right quick, y'all. Y'all see how I'm just jumping right in? You know what I'm saying? We ain't wasting no time. This company right here. When I called the young lady, come to find out that she happens to be happens to have the same last name. Uh, I mean last name. When I called this young lady, she happens to have the same name as I do. So. It's spelled different. Hers is spelled with a W. Mine is spelled with a U. We we got together and had an awesome, awesome conversation. So this is what's up. This is what's up. Schuster. Let's see what they got to offer. They are located. First thing first. They are located out of Lamar's, Iowa. Phone number is 800-831-831. 4832. Let's see what they got. They got a nice, they got a they they got a nice website. So if you guys want to go to Schuster, Schuster.com, you'll find it. Let's see what they got to offer. They said, welcome to Schuster. They got opportunities nationwide. Now their terminal is one terminal out of Iowa. They don't have no other terminals. They probably might have a lot of drop spots, but being that they're reefer, that they're reefer company. They do a lot of ice cream loads, so you're going to be running heavy. They also, they don't require, but they have hazmat loads as well. If you run a hazmat load, you get an extra $100. Just know that. I'm just saying. Uh, they got a pay increase that just happened this past the uh, this past 15th. Now they're starting at 48 through 51 CPM. Plus, they got a five cent CPM bonus. Now, when I talked to her, she told me that I being that um, being that I I will come in at 49 cent a mile, which would give me an average of about twelve hundred twelve hundred dollars a month. I mean, twelve hundred dollars a week if I run twenty five 
miles. All right. So they're starting. They they she said that she'll start me off at 49 cent a mile. So that gives me about 1200 and some change after tax. It'll be about nine hundred dollars to take on. Is that good for you to be out for like 17 days? I mean, you know, let's let's think about it. You know, it's up to 51 cent. Now, I haven't asked her how to get that 51 cent per mile. Hmm. When you guys when you guys call, make sure you guys ask her how to get that uh 51 cent a mile. Let's see what else they got. Um let's see. It says their mission, Schuster delivers customer products with dedicate with dedicate efficiency and steadfast stability. We work to balance a pop a positive, a positive work environment, solid home life, strong customers' affiliations, and respect peer relations. What do you guys think? Let's let's see what they got for the let's see what else they got. Hold on. Let's see what else they got. Uh, oh, okay. All right. At Schuster, our truck drivers are our top priority. And from the conversation that I had with her, it is. Uh, we offer competitive pay, top of the line equipment, and terrific benefits for our Class A CDLs. Let's see what type of benefits that they offer. OTR can average about 2,500 to 3,000 miles a week. Midwest regional regional about 22 to 24 miles per week monthly safety bonus and performance bonuses referral bonuses health and dental and visual ins vision insurance 401k paid time off pet and rider policy and veteran recognition recognition what do you guys think about that I don't know I I didn't man I wish I would have asked her about that Midwest regional because I probably would have been interested in that. But she was pretty much telling me about um, about the OTR. They do have they do bring on owner operators and I'm not sure about leasing there. I did mention that, but I think she said something to the fact that you could probably buy a truck. But if you're interested in leasing, make sure you talk to her about that. All right, guys. All right, guys. Let's see what Schuster got to say in this call. Schuster, this is Sean. Hey, Sean? Yes. Okay, my name's Sean. I was just about to say, you know, my name's Sean, and I like to know a little bit more about Schuster, but Sean, that's <laughs> bad. Come up. See, Sean is such a universal name now. Like, I know. I, 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 can't, cl I can't claim that name no more, but. How do you, you how, how how do you spell it though? How do you spell it? Mine is S H A W N. See, mine is S H A U N. Yeah, and that's really rare. I don't come across that spelling much. <laughs> well, how you doing today? So, I'm doing well. How are you? I am fine, thank you. Of course, my name's uh, Lashawn. Well, it's actually Lashawn, okay. so that's that's even more unique. <laughs> yes, it is. But you can call me Sean for short. Um, okay. I'm a five year truck driver, and I'm just here to I'm just here to find out a little bit more of uh, what you guys have to offer. It says if I got any questions, it says I should give you a call. So is that all right that yeah. I ask you a few questions? That's fine. Uh, so where did you hear about us at? Well, you know what? It is it is hard to find any. Well, I found a few, you know, that's only a handful, but it's hard to find uh, some bad reviews about the company, you know, as I'm doing my research. And, you know, I came I came across uh, I came across you guys by a suggestion. You know, I talked to a, I talked to a couple of drivers um, and also I checked out you guys on, you know, I'm on the Internet right now. I'm on your web page right now. Also watch that uh, that one video from uh, Trucking Answers. So, you know, I thought mm -hmm. I, I thought I'd give you guys a call to see what you guys are about. All right. That sounds good. So, um, can I start by getting a zip code just to make sure you're in a good area for us, Sean? All right. 44108. All right. 
Do you remember any of the drivers you actually spoke to? Uh, it's been such a while ago. I ain't even get his name. Okay. That's fine. All right. So you're in a good area right up in Cleveland? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So off the bat, like in your area, since we are a single terminal based in Iowa, you'd be out 14 to 17 days, home mm-hmm. two to three days mm-hmm. in that area. So um, what questions do you want me to kind of give you a rundown of what we have to offer? What quest- Or did you want to start off with your questions? I, I can start off with my questions. So can you give me a, can you give me a brief, uh, a brief background of the company? Now, aren't you guys associated yeah. with another company too? I thought, no. Oh, okay, okay. Because I, I always thought I, I thought it was like Crate, and then I seen Schuster. Nope. But I, I thought okay. okay. Well, g- can you give me a brief background of the company? Yeah, yep. Yeah. So Schuster, we've been in business for sixty-four years. We're a single terminal family-owned business based out of the northwestern side of the state in Iowa. Okay. Um, Steve Schuster took over. Um, once his father passed away. So it's family owned. Um, he's very involved in his company. You know, I've been here a little over two and a half years. What I like is that um, he's so involved every day. He'll deliver the mail to each department, which I think is huge because he doesn't find himself to need that to okay. Okay. check in with each department as he goes every day. Um, as it, Again, been here 64 years, have around 400 company drivers, about 55 owner operators that run for us. Um, we do go to all 48. There's a couple areas we can keep you out of, one being the upper northeast corner or yes. west coast. Other than that, we ask our drivers to go everywhere else. Yes. Um, in, okay. Which which area northeast. do you not want to you know, northeast? Northeast. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, northeast. <laughs> but to, to to my understand to my understanding, you guys do give like a little incentive to go up in the northeast though? Yes. So if you want to go up in that upper northeast, you get an additional $50 to enter that area. Um, We can keep you out of there. Uh, The only area, like you'll have to go into Pennsylvania State. You might have to go upstate New York, like to Syracuse, to get a backhaul out, coming back out. But other than that, you won't have to go anywhere else. Um, But if you do like to drive in that area, yes, we pay an additional $50 once you go into the upper northeast. Nah, um, nah, you, you know, you, as far you, you as our save, save save that fifty for somebody else that might yeah. want it. Me, <laughs> yeah, just keep keep me out of the northeast. I'm I'm right. good on that. Um, nope, we can let me definitely ask you, do that. Let me ask you Go this: ahead. what will uh, from what I from what I've seen, um, you know, from what I've seen in the video, you guys mm-hmm. is a reefer company, right? So you guys haul main. Do you guys haul mainly ice cream, or is yeah. it? Is it, so we more, do a lot is of it meat more than that? And a lot of ice cream. Oh, okay, okay, so, okay. Wax and a lot of so, ice cream. We do use lumpers and we pay for those. So 99% of what you're hauling is going to be no touch free. Okay, okay. And this is more so grocery store drops and stuff like uh, that. What's the. Pr- not mostly. I mean, you're going to have some of those, but yeah, no. You're not always going to be just going to the grocery store. So there's a wide range. Oh. We do have some dry van um, mm-hmm. as well, but a majority of what you'll be hauling is going to be refrigerated. Oh, okay, okay. Now, as far now as far as dry van, do we do, is that like a different division, or we we haul it as we get the dispatches? Um, you'll haul it as dispatch. So, like I said, oh, a majority okay. will be the refrigerated, but you'll get some dry van as well. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, maybe okay. some bomb guards loads, which is more of like a farming type industry bomb guards, if you've never heard of them. Um, All right. But yeah. So you say this is a, a one terminal operation, so you guys don't have no other terminals throughout the nope. throughout the states? Nope. Everything comes and goes from here. So, All right. like if so I that means bulk, you go out and you come back in. So that means once I put in the application and get approved and all that good stuff right there, I will come to the orientation out to Iowa. What might have yep. what what might I need to bring and how would you guys get me out there? Yep. So once you fill out the application, we get you approved for orientation or and you feel we're gonna be a good fit for you as well, then we would bring you to orientation here. We do it two different ways. We either do a rental car or bus, whichever works for you. Um, if you do the rental car, we'll cover the car, your first tank of gas, gas and tolls along the way you would cover, but save your receipts. We collect those on the first day to get you reimbursed. 
And then okay. once you arrive, yep. we'll take care of your room. You have your own room. You don't have to share okay. with anyone. And then you'll have breakfast there at the hotel. And then we give vouchers for lunch and dinner while you're in orientation. So we take care of Okay, your lunch and orientation. dinner. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Some places I talked to so far, they, they was only offering lunch and not dinner. But you guys offering lunch and dinner. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, so okay. then orientation so is normally Monday through Wednesday. We try our best to get you back on the road by Thursday. Um, you know, once you complete orientation, we pay $600 in orientation pay. And then any load okay. you deliver from the day you leave orientation until that following Tuesday at noon that you scan in, you'll be paid for as well. So the first week, Sean, during orientation, you won't receive a check that Friday, but we do pay weekly. So as long as you're working every week thereafter, you get a check every Friday. Okay. Usually cutoff is always Tuesday at noon to get paid for that same day. I mean, that same week. All right. All right. So what about uh? All right. So you say six hundred dollars for the orientation. Uh, now that that's paid by check. Now as far as getting reimbursed for our rental car, because that's nine times right. out of ten is what I'm going to be doing because Greyhound is out. But yeah. um, well for obvious reasons. But right. my my reasons. Right. I'm not a not not a bus kind of guy. Uh, yeah. No, nope, not that's coming perfectly from Ohio. fine. So, uh, yeah, you'll turn get, those in that Monday, and then they'll be on your first check as well that following week. Oh, it'll be on a check. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys have a sign-on bonus? We don't do sign-on bonuses. Um, you know, we just okay. do the paid orientation. We don't do that because a lot of places want you to stay so long. And then, you know, they break it out for so many months, too. So instead of doing that, we just do the $600 in orientation pay. Gotcha, gotcha. And a lot of in a in a lot of places that's not doing sign on bonus, your turnover rate should should be a little bit lax, right? I mean, yeah, y'all don't yeah. have a huge turnover rate. No, we don't. And you know, we really work on retention and letting our drivers know, you know, communication is key. Um, so we work okay. hard on that and you'll find like uh coming in here and us recruiters go and speak with you guys in orientation too, but like I tell every driver that I bring in, just because I recruited you doesn't mean it's over with. So if you go, if you're having issues, don't know who to talk to, come see me. If you talk to your dispatcher, you're not getting anywhere, come see me. Um, you know, we'll okay. go to our director of operations. He's pretty good at taking a look at it. And I tell everyone, you know, he's the first to admit that we're doing something wrong on our side. But he might be, hey, no, they're late. You know, they refuse this load. So it goes both ways. And you just... You know, constructive criticism, you have to be good at listening to that, too. But um, right. he's very fair taking a look at it. And, again, it's just communication on what we're seeing. And then you try and come up with a plan to, you know, move forward and try and make things a little bit on that side. There are times he's like, you know, it's a little bit on our side, a little bit on their side. It can be corrected, though. Um, but we don't know unless you communicate that. So we're really big on, you know, before you get too frustrated, if you feel you can't go to your dispatcher or someone else, you can always stop in and see one of us recruiters. Okay, okay. So, the, so the so the open door policy is will ride there. Yeah, the open door policy. I mean, when you come in, everything's right here. So, if you want to go up and talk with your dispatcher, you can. You can come see us recruiters. We're right next to the orientation room. So, the week you're here, you're going to see a lot of us. Um, but you'll, and as you're here too, you'll see a lot of the drivers come through. They're always stopping in and chatting with us too. So. Um, Steve okay. Schuster, the awesome. owner, has an open door policy. If he's here and his door is open, you can walk in and say hello, go in with anything. Um, same with Jeff. He's the VP. You know, drivers going in there, um, the voice and opinion, if they want to do that, they're able to do that, too. So Awesome. Awesome. What about pre-employment pre drug screening? Now, I know with COVID season going on right now, some companies are saying that we can do it all at you know before we come out there so how how do you guys do it before we come um, out there or no nope, or we after get, we come out there we do everything pretty much we get you pre-qualified to come into orientation um you know as far as the application and your previous employers as far as the drug testing we take care of that on the first day so when you come in one of us recruiters will take you down to do a urine test so we do everything in house here all right. Do we need to get Do we need to get a updated DOT card if we already have one? Um, as long as you have a current one, we're fine with that. We send everyone to our own DOT doctor, and we get that updated, and we pay for the cost of that. 
Okay. All right. All right. Cool. All right. So the low end, the the, the low end, and I see, you know, I, I just clicked back onto your website right here. And it says that you guys this do this this past November, y'all had a, a pay increase. So the low end, the low end average for you know for myself would be about forty five dollars, uh forty five thousand coming in. But what would be what what would be you well, know I'm five years I'm I'm five so years uh, your a current runner. employer are you still working for someone? Yes. Okay. And how long have you been with them? Uh, I've been with them for about a year, year and a half. Okay. So how we do our pay structure, we go by the longevity at your current employer, just to make it an even playing field. Because there's drivers that have been out there thirty years, and you can't verify all that. So. Right. Um, what we can verify is the last three years. So we go by the longevity at your current employer. Um, this is before any additional pay, any of our bonuses. Our average leads to 2,500 to over 3,000 plus miles a week. So it depends on the type of driver you are. So Sean, if you're out there running your butt off, keeping your left door closed, getting there on time, you shouldn't have issues with the miles. We have the freight. Um, so okay. starting out just before your monthly bonus or any additional stop pays, um, or, you know, let's say you get any other bonuses that we offer, you would be coming in at 49 cents a mile. So I'm going to okay. give you a couple examples. Um, let's just say you average over a year 2,500 miles a week. This is mm -hmm. before any of the extra bonuses, anything like that, just strictly at the 2,500 miles a week. You would be looking at uh, the so about twenty five hundred miles, forty nine cent. I'll be looking at about twelve hundred. Uh, You'd be looking at sixty three thousand seven hundred a year. Okay, okay, and so, that's and about that's twelve. Just that's about twelve hundred a week. Yeah. And that's without the bonus. So that's I will be coming 2, in twenty five hundred miles a week. Yeah, so twenty five hundred miles a week. Point, you know, okay. the forty nine cents, twelve twenty five. So annually, that would be sixty three thousand seven hundred. Now it. 3,000 miles a week averaging, which I, my, I have drivers that do well, like 3,500 or more. It's just depending. Like I said, everyone drives differently, so it's going to depend on that. But at 3,000, if you average that over a year, you'd be at 76,440. Okay, um, okay. And, that's, so that's, and that's, that's, that's without any extras. So the extras that I'm talking about is every month you have the opportunity to earn an additional $0.05 cents on a bonus. Pretty mm -hmm. simple to do. Um, three cents is based on your safety side, so no accidents, incidents, tickets, warnings, or violations. Two mm -hmm. cents is going to be on your performance side, meaning no late deliveries you can control. Um, if okay. you're not on vacation time, have hours available. They ask you to take a load, you take it. And when you do go home for your home time, if you tell us you're going to be back out on a Monday, you come back out on the date you stayed. So as long as you do that, you get an mm -hmm. additional five cents on all miles throughout the month. It's always paid out the following month on that second Friday. The first two months, okay. we guarantee that as long as you have no accidents or tickets, coming into a new company gives you the time to adjust, ask questions, you know, on the performance side and get everything right. straight. So we do guarantee that as long as you have no accidents or tickets. Um, we talked about East Coast pay, which you don't have to do the East Coast. Um, we have stop pays. First and finals don't count. Any stop in between is $40. If you have your mm -hmm. hazmat endorsement, Sean, it's not a requirement to work for us, but if you have that, you get an additional $100. Again, not a requirement. Um, we have now, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Do I get a, an additional $100 when I run the hazmat load, or do I mm -hmm. get the additional $100 for having the hazmat endorsement? When you run any loads on hazmat, and our hazmat loads okay. are going to be more of the baking goods, your vanillas, things like that. So nothing too strict oh, okay. on that side. Uh, we have okay. layover and detention pay when applicable. We have um, fuel bonuses. We any time you get pulled over by a DOT and you have a clean inspection and you're on duty, you get a hundred dollars for that. So we do have other bonuses as well. And then we have referral okay. bonuses. That's why I was kind of asking if you remember who you spoke with because we pay twelve hundred and fifty dollars for any referrals that you bring into Schuster. Okay. 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 That shouldn't be that. That shouldn't be too much of a problem for me. I, I bring in drivers just just right off the rip because I'm in a Facebook group. 
So yeah. every time, every time I talk to somebody, I, you know, I pass that, I pass this good information along to them. And good. I wouldn't be surprised if a couple of people call you. I'd be like, yeah, I talked to, uh, I talked to LaShawn and you said that you guys is good. It's a good company. Yeah. Well, um, they won't be able to forget my name when they call in, but half the time. I know, like, I right? Talk, they'll be like, I thought I talked to a female recruiter. That, that's what I usually Yes. Get. Yes. <laughs> All right, so you guys, so you guys are you you guys are W two and not ten ninety nine. Do you guys do offer? Do you guys offer lease? Because you did mention that uh, that you guys got owner operators that work for you, but do you guys offer leasing? Um. So we do company drivers and we have owner operators. Uh, we oh, okay. have drivers that come in as company drivers. They save around 5000 purchase their own truck and become an owner operator. We have a lot of drivers that do that. And then we have, you know, you can always purchase a truck outside and bring it aboard to before you got here, um, you know, and come on as an owner op. But, you know, if it's something that you want to do, start out as a company driver and then become an owner app, we do have that option. Like I said, we don't do lease purchase. We just find they benefit companies more so than they do the actual driver. All right. Um, all right. You know, so we do it that way. And if it comes, let's say you come in here, Sean, and then, you know, after a few months, you want to become an owner app. There's plenty of drivers that I've brought in that switched over that I could get you to and you could ask all sorts of questions. So they're doing well. Okay. So. Um, awesome awesome yeah. now as far as home now as far as home time you said that uh that i'm out 14 days and i'm home for three or two or is that the complete uh two days complete so three days or yeah or so just the 34 hour reset. 17 days so you're out the 14 to 17 days and then you're home two to three days that's depending on what you want to work out with your dispatcher um so okay. our days are full days so let's say you said you had a doctor's appointment on Friday. So we usually say make sure you tell them you need to be home by Thursday to get you there Friday. So let's say Thursday mm -hmm. you get home and it's 9 a.m. You finish delivering and you're home by 9 a.m. on Thursday. Your first full day is not going to start until that Friday. <laughs> okay. And I could take my home time just about anywhere I want, right? Um, you can. It's just going to be that communication to make sure we're delivering in that area. There's some areas we just don't, you know, get into, you know, um, where we're not going to be able to get you there. Like on the western side of the state of Texas, you know, we're just not going to be able to, you're not going to be able to do your home time there. I mean, there's just okay. certain areas we might not have deliveries where we can't get you there. So it's always, you know, asking. The, the communication is know. key. Just to, It is. Yeah, let let so, them know, you know whether whether I can go, uh, where where right. where I need to go, or something right. like that. Can I can yeah. I take the truck home with me? Yeah, truck and trailer do go home with you. Um, they have to stay connected, and you just need to let us know where you're keeping it while you're on home time, whether it be a you know a truck stop or wherever it may be. Okay, okay. What about what now? What equipment that you guys have, and what truck that I will be put into? Okay, so we have late model equipment, 2018 to 2021 International Pro Stars. That's going to be in the majority of our fleet are International Pro Stars. Um, you know, at the beginning of the year, we'll take the 18s off the road. We'll get our 22s in. So um, we do have a few freight liners. You will see a few Kenworths, but a majority of, is it, of what we have is International Pro Stars. Um, and that is a question, you know, as far as what you'll be into, I'd say, you know, nine times out of 10, it's probably going to be a pro star because that's the majority of our fleet. But we won't know what's in inventory until you scheduled orientation. So, you know, we have some drivers. Um, after we take our 18s off the road, we'll be, we'll be just automatics. Right now, our 18s, we have some freight liners that are manuals. So mm -hmm. we always more would ask, do you want a manual or an automatic? We try and get you in what you'd like if we have that in inventory. If we don't, it has to be what's in inventory. So if you were to come in and say, I want a manual, you know, I would put on my orientation list for a director of dispatch that you would prefer a manual. If they can get you in a manual, they will. If they can't, then you'd be in an automatic. So automatic. we always try and get your right. preference about, up front. What about the amenities, like refrigerator, inverters, so ours, and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, ours are pretty bare bones. Um, that way you can make your truck your home and what you'd want to have on there. So the trucks are just basic 
they're going to have your APU Qualcomm pre-pass elite and scanners. Everything else um, you can go ahead and purchase and put in there. We choose not to do that for one. As you know, not everyone leaves um, and on good terms and they take things out of the truck. So instead of replacing a refrigerator and inverter, things like that, we'd rather um, go ahead and put that in raises to our drivers when we're able to. So we leave those pretty bare bones for you to actually get and put in yourself. Um, you know, as far as refrigerators, we have a lot of drivers that will go to Walmart, which is close by, pick up a refrigerator, have our, have our service department um, install those for you. We've had drivers actually purchase online and had it delivered to your waiting car when they get your full orientation. Um, so okay, you can do that. Okay. Inverters, um, if you have one, bring it. They'll install it at no cost for you if you already have one. Same with the CD. So you can always bring those. They'll come in the truck. If not, we do sell inverters and CDs here. Um, an okay. inverter for us, we have a twenty. We sell it at our cost. It's a twenty-five hundred watt Cobra. It's mm-hmm. two hundred and eighty dollars, and we do payroll deduct that fifty a week until paid in full. And then we do have two okay. CDs. We have an analog and a digital that you can choose from, and they'll payroll deduct those too. Okay, awesome, awesome. What about a what about a driver camera? Um, we don't have any of those on there. We do have event recorders that face outward in case there's anything going on. Okay, now, you, you know, cool. a lot of drivers have their own driver cams that they'll install so they can video or take photos, and that's fine. But other than now, that, you didn't no, mention, we have event recorders. Now, you did mention about the, about the communication because communication is key between me and my fleet manager. How long right. would it take me to get a response from my fleet manager when I call them up in the, in the event of, in, 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 in any event? How, how long would it take them to respond back to me? Uh, I, I say unless they're on another call. I mean, they're always picking up the phones when they're here. But uh, I would say leave a message and they'll get right back to you if they're not on a call. Depending on how long the dispatchers here, they have anywhere between, I would say, 25 up to 40 drivers on their board. So um, just, you know, be patient. If it's an emergency, you can't get through them, then you'll probably want to go to the director of dispatch. That awesome. Way, you know, All right. that's what you're going to want to so, do. So, yeah, this is a uh, this is this is, sounds pretty cool. I mean, you know, from from what I from who I talked to and from where the video and then the information that you give me, this sounds uh this sounds like this should be at the top of my list of uh, uh companies I should uh look into coming to. Um yeah. my last question my last my last question deals pretty much with driver safety. And I know a lot of I I know a lot of companies have uh have policies in place uh, that we're not able to bring our own personal protection with us on the truck. But how do you guys, how, how if I get into a, if I get into a issue, uh, say like, you know, like the riots that happened early this year or, um, or something like that, how would you guys, ha- how would you guys handle that for, for us, for, for driver safety? Right. So they're always looking into that. I mean, I didn't, we didn't have any issues with any of our drivers with any of the riots going on. We had some of our drivers concerned and calling in to say, hey, you know, this is what's going on. I'm a little worried about going there, but we're not going to send any of our drivers knowingly into an area. So we had no issues with any of our drivers. And I know we had the director of dispatch, Jeff Owens, our VP, our director of operations all on top of that checking. So if there's something like that going on, they're going to either reroute it or wait, um, you know, until things settle down. But I can say I knowingly, I had drivers call in and I would check with them and they would keep them updated, sending out messages on Qualcomm, um, things like that on anything important going through that was happening. All right. Awesome. Um, and then, awesome. you know, well, if it comes to a situation where you have questions and you're a little worried about, again, just call in and say, hey, this is what my concerns are. What are you finding out? Because sometimes things on the TV really wasn't what was going on. Not all the time, but in some instances, that was the case. All right. So we're not awesome. only going to awesome. send you out into that danger. Just like, you know, in the last month, we had drivers sitting during um, times where weather was bad, where we said, you need to wait, don't go. 
All right. All right. Well, that's all I have. Thank you. I will definitely yeah. take this information with me and share it on my social media where I do network with uh, a lot of drivers like myself. So yeah. thank you, Sean. Thank you very well, much. I do appreciate the time. I would definitely do that. And uh, and I would definitely let my people know, uh, let the guys who I network with, let them know as well. Um, like I said before, I got a, you know, I have a Facebook group. And, you know, that's all we do is talk trucks and all like that. So so I would definitely I would definitely uh, send this good information over to to them and and refer you so that they will talk to you. Schuster, everybody. Wow. That was a awesome, awesome call right there, man. That was an awesome, awesome call right there, man. I mean, Schuster. What 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 can what can we say about them, man? Awesome. I mean, beautiful conversation. She answered all of the questions. Of course, you know, you try to you try to keep the questions short and direct. You know what I'm saying? You don't want you, you don't want to get into a huge conversation and all like that you know you basically want to get the answers that you need and hopefully that the recruiter can provide it for you you know what i'm saying and if she provided the answers that you guys need then this company schuster will probably might be the company that you might want to consider uh driving for i mean if i'm not mistaken I'm not sure if they're part of the best uh, fleet to drive for. They might be. I don't know. But if they are, and from the and from the sounds of what this young lady have given us, now she's been there for two years, so she should know her stuff. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of the call? Let me know in the comments below of what you guys think of this call. Is this a company that you might be interested in? Let me know also. Schuster, they are located in Iowa. Yeah, Lee Mars, Iowa. They are located in Lee Mars, Iowa. And if you want to give them a call, you can call them at 800-831-4832. And definitely ask for Shine. Her name is spelled S H A W N. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you ask for her. Beautiful young lady, enjoyable uh, conversation that I had with her. I I I, I think I, I think so far as as good conversation goes with with these uh, companies, she's she's on top of the list, man. Let me break it down for you. So. If you're if you're an experienced driver around my have around my years, you see you will start at about forty nine cent per mile. Of course, if you do about twenty five hundred miles, that'd give you about about twelve hundred dollars and some change. And then from there, you take out the taxes. The taxes will be about I don't know would be about 300 or in my case 300 so you're looking at about nine or let's see 13 12 you're looking at about 900 dollars a week all right now you also get incentives that's added on there but you get paid out of that every month so it probably might be about a an extra bump up of five six seven hundred dollars for you extra per month um, they do have a bonus, uh, a $50 bonus for you to go up in the Northeast. They can keep that. I'm cool, you know, but we might have to go up in like, uh, outside New York and all like that for a backhaul or something like that. Uh, your home time, of course, you got to be out over the road for 14 days or 17 days, however long, however long you want to be. Some people just don't want to be over the road and be away from home from, you know, from that long period of time. Also, you're able to take the truck home, but when you park the truck, it gets to be connected 
So if you use personal conveyance for personal home time or something like that, uh, you might can ask, you know, let them know that you're you, you about to make a quick run or something like that. But they want both truck and trailer connected. And they also you just have to let them know where it's parked at. Now, you all you guys already know that it's <laughs> they, they know where they trucks at at all times, but. They just want you to tell them, like, yo, the truck is parked at a Love's or parked at a parking lot or whatever the case may be. But you but you were able to take it home, though. So Schuster out of Iowa, man. I mean, that's I mean, this uh, I'm, I'm still I'm, I'm still gigging off the conversation that I that I had with this young lady, man. I mean, it's, it was a beautiful thing. So if you guys want to, again, if you guys want to give them a call, you can. It is 800-831-4832. They'll get you up there by, Gray, uh, by Greyhound, but a lot of us is not fucking with that. They'll get you up there with uh, a rental car. They'll reimburse you for it. And, uh, and yeah, once you get up there, you get 600 bucks, you get your truck, and you gone. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of Lockout Man Podcast, the MTC edition. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell and that all button, and support the cause. You know what I'm saying? Support the cause. You can support it by coffee. Hook me up with some coffee. The cash app, dollar sign lockout men, is in the description below. If you want me to make a call to some of these companies, let me know. The easiest way to do it is to get at me at Instagram. That's at lockout men. If you don't have Instagram, hit me up in the uh hit me up in the Gmail. That's lockout men podcast at gmail.com. If you don't have that, then you can text me. 216-600-2090. If you have any companies that you work for and you want to, you know, spread the love, you know, get the information out there because this this channel is all about truckers. You know what I'm saying? You want to spread the love to wherever you work at, bring it on. Let me know and we'll get it out there for the people to see and maybe help you out with some referral bonus. You need some extra cash, right? I'm just saying. All right. On that note, everybody, on that note, everybody, I appreciate you uh, being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And until next time, you guys have a blessed one. Peace. Searching, 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 searching and searching.